Hey, good morning, Giselle. So now we're inside here at the LA Auto Show. And as you can see, these vehicles belong to a very, very well-known celebrity, Robert Downey Jr. You may have heard of him. These are actually his cars that he has completely eco-modified. So, you know, we know when the 65 Corvettes came out, they weren't electric, but hey, Robert Downey Jr. decided to do a little eco-modification. And this is what the result is. I think I will be uh, entering into the sweepstakes to see if I can win one of these but that's the thing about this each of these cars robert downey jr is a climate activist he eco modified these vehicles and when you come to the la auto show you can enter into the sweepstakes for as little as ten dollars to potentially win one of these cars take a listen the really really cool thing about it is all these cars uh, are in a sweepstakes and people can buy sweepstakes entries and six people are going to win robert downey jr's cars So now I want to bring in Chris Mazzilli because he worked on many of these vehicles. So, Chris, what can you tell us about these cars and the eco modifications? Well, oh, they're great cars. And Robert had a hand in the design of all six cars. What's unique about that Corvette, other than being electrified, it's got a mushroom leather interior. Mushroom leather. Is this a new thing? It's a new thing and a very cool thing. And it feels like, I mean, you sat in it. It feels like regular leather, right? It definitely felt like leather. So, this is a more sustainable kind of leather. Exactly. This car we have right here is a 1985 El Camino. Okay. It's got a vegan leather interior. I want to get a quick shot of that. I'm gonna, ooh, I'm just going to follow you over here. Let, we'll have our uh, photographer take a look in there. Very, very neat. Same thing. Feels like leather, you know. And the other unique feature is these electric bikes are powered by a solar panel on the roof of the car. So as you're driving, they're charging. So when Robert Downey Jr. came to you and said he wanted to, you know, eco-modify older vehicles, I mean, what, what did you say? Was this possible? I said, you got it. Whatever you want to do, boss. And it really, I mean, he, it was an exciting process, and I think the end result is really cool. Very much so. So there's six cars in this entire exhibit. We, obviously, you saw uh, my favorite here, the Corvette. But Chris is going to show us a few other things. So we've got the, the solar panels on top here. You've got the electric vehicles. And then look at this. We've got a, is this an old VW bus? Yep. It's a 1972 VW bus. Uh, it's also powered by electric motor. And the unique feature here is we built a custom electric grill, which rolls out for the beach also powered by a solar panel on the roof of the vehicle. So we actually took this to Malibu and cooked up some burgers and hot dogs, and I gotta tell you, it was awesome. Really, really impressive. So this is uh, perfect for this uh, beachside, beachside living out here That's in right. uh, Los Angeles. This is a great Malibu cruiser. So tell me, how difficult is it to kind of eco-modify these older vehicles, and what does that exactly mean? We know about the, the interior, but what about under the hood? Very, very challenging, hard builds. Um, Three are electric, the bus, the vet, and the K-10 pickup. Robert's mother's car, which is that old Mercedes, was converted to biodiesel. And then the El Camino and the Buick Riviera have modern internal combustion gen engines that came out of wrecked cars. So we saved those motors from being discarded. So some, so even though some of them are not fully electric, when you are here, we'll go to the, the side of the bus here. When you're actually taking out an old combustion engine and putting in a newer model, how does that sort of uh, become more sustainable? Well, first of all, it's not going into the earth. We pulled it out of there. But it's also they're much more efficient. They, these cars get two and a half times the gas mileage the original motor did. So more horsepower and better gas mileage. All right, and what else should people know? How should they, you know, enter into the sweepstakes? And they could potentially take one of these home. Well, first of all, they should come down to the LA Auto Show. Great cars here other than these. If they want to win one, if they can't come, go to rdjdreamcars.com, and you can sign up there to win one of the cars. Awesome, Chris. Thanks for uh, showing us a little bit of Robert Downey Jr.'s dream cars, and we hope it, it's a dream for some people that they might win one. Yep. Life-changing. And I hope yeah. I get that Corvette. Back to you, Giselle. You can take the Corvette. I want to be Mrs. Iron Man. That way I could drive one of those cars. Fabulous. And the sun, I love that. Thank you, Sarah. We'll be checking back with you all morning long. <laughs> Such a great job.